Hey, Jeremy Crow here. In this video I wanted to quickly go over the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, especially as it relates to people who are on a spiritual path, but this applies to basically everybody who is seeking fulfillment in their life. Um, so Maslow's hierarchy of needs, what this is, and I'm gonna basically go over the main two bottom levels, the, the foundation of the pyramid, as it were. Um, so essentially what this is, is that um, it's this hierarchy of needs. So the first set of needs is the most pertinent uh, at any given time. And if anything is not fulfilled from that list of needs, it's very difficult to kind of start to address uh, the other more subtle needs. So what I'm talking about here is the very first level is physiological. So these are the physiological needs of the organism itself. So in other words, the kinds of things you need in order to survive as an organism. Uh, you need oxygen. You need water. You need food. You need to be able to keep your core body temperature between a certain range of temperatures. Not too hot, not too cold. And you do this through clothing and shelter and things like that. Um, so now if you don't have any of those things, it's going to be really difficult to kind of focus on achieving anything from the higher levels of this hierarchy. So for example, um, if you are having a hard time getting access to oxygen, uh, you're probably not going to be doing a tarot reading for guidance, you know. You're probably not going to be contemplating your next career move, you know. Um, you're going to be spending 100% of your time and resources into achieving that oxygen, you know. You need that oxygen. It's absolutely vital, and you can't move on without it. Um, so that's, you know, there are other less dramatic needs in this section, uh, but they are very important to cover. So... These are things that you need to make sure that you have access to. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be, you know, meditating. You know, for one thing, if you're not able to meet those needs, you're going to be dead. And your brain is going to decompose or be cremated or something. And it's kind of be going to be hard to meditate and try and change your brainwave states when your brain doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so, that being said, uh, the next level above physiological needs uh, would be the level of safety and security. So now, this obviously refers to um, keeping yourself protected against, like, predators, um, enemies that wish you harm, even impersonal forces of nature, such as like uh, threats from your environment itself, such as weather or, you know, what, whatever, you know, weather is a big one. Um, now, the other aspect of safety and security is ongoing access to the resources you need to cover your physiological needs. So what I mean by that is, for example, access to clean drinking water on a regular basis. So it's not just the physio physiological need of, I need water right now, and you have water. It's the safety aspect, the security aspect of being able to access a source of water on an ongoing basis. So now, uh, what this can actually translate to for a lot of people is um, whether or not you're living paycheck to paycheck. So now, living paycheck to paycheck, you are technically 
accessing your resources on an ongoing basis. However, it's not very secure. You, you're, you're just on the edge, you know? Um, if anything were to happen to your employment or your source of income, whatever it ha may happen to be, you're gonna be screwed. You're, you're, you're gonna, you're not as secure as somebody who has, say, six months worth of their expenses saved up. So you can definitely say that for sure, that you're not gonna have that same level of security as somebody who does have that six month uh, backup provision, savings, nest egg kind of thing, right? Um, so you're not gonna, if you don't have that backup reserve as well as an ongoing source of resources that are, that are taking care of your basic needs, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to focus on the higher level needs that an individual has for fulfillment, such as uh, social interaction, such as um, personal esteem, um, things like that, right? So you're not gonna be able to, to have social engagement nearly as much if you don't have any um, disposable income. So if 100% of your income is going towards fulfilling your basic needs every month and you're just living, like I said, paycheck to paycheck, it's gonna be a lot harder to even focus on you know, going out and having fun. Um, but even when you do, you don't have the same level of resources you need to really kind of go out and have fun. So, you know, there's ways around it. There are ways of kind of jumping the levels, but the thing is here, you have to take into consideration that you're building on shaky ground when you jump levels. So sometimes it can't be helped. You just, you just gotta deal with what you're presented with in the moment, but when you take these, this uh, hierarchy of needs into consideration, it definitely helps you set your priorities. And I do find that um, people who are on a spiritual path often will n neglect these lower levels because they, th they think they're base or they think that the material is somehow the enemy of spiritual growth. Um, you know, the whole idea that the, the demonization of the flesh that happens in um, certain branches of spirituality, that actually causes harm, you know, towards an individual who thinks that they don't have to worry about their material resources or their um, financial stability. They, because they are on a spiritual quest, you know, and they're building on shaky ground. The, the littlest thing can come in there and tumble the whole house of cards down. So that's why I think it's so important for people who are on a spiritual quest to take care of those basics, to make sure that they have a stable income coming in, that they are living below their means so that they can save up money so that they have that basic reserve in place just in case their main source of income dries up for whatever reason they do have that six month period that grace period that they've kind of built up for themselves that they that it's not going to disrupt their entire lives if they lose their job or if their business collapses or their specific stream of income that they're getting the most of their money from dries up for whatever reason. It's not going to throw everything into chaos. You know, it gives you a lot of breathing room. So uh, this is important on a spiritual quest to make sure that you have your financial situation under control and that you have all the basic necessities of life there for you and that you have uh, a reasonable assurance of having such 
indefinitely into the future as far as you can. Um, so that will help with the spiritual quest, even on a subconscious level, to have that stability in the, in the financial and material realm will allow you to put more of your resources in terms of focus and energy into the more uh, esoteric pursuits. So that's the, the really important thing that I wanted to get across to you in this video. Um, if you do enjoy videos on spirituality, on entrepreneurship, on healthy living, uh, then definitely uh, subscribe to this channel or click the like button on the page depending on where you're viewing this video. Um, and, you know, go ahead and tag somebody or share this video with somebody who you think might benefit from it or that you think might enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I, I put out videos like this at least once a week, usually more, so you can, uh, you know, keep checking back or you can subscribe to get to the thing. There's also a newsletter that I put out. It's only every two weeks, uh, but it kind of rounds up the, the different uh, piece of content I put out there and that since the last issue, you can go to jeremycrow.com slash newsletter.html to sign up there and you will get a free 26 page ebook, which is actually the full grade book of the first degree of the Ziggurat of Enki, um, an open source esoteric order based around Mesopotamian mythology. So you can you can check that out if you're interested uh, at jeremycrow.com slash newsletter.html. And until next time, guys, stay lucid.